Hey guys, how is it going? Sam here. Welcome back to yet another video on Sam's AWS Learning Series. I know it's been a while. I was uh, literally out of a uh, uh, town for some time. And uh, again, uh, without further ado, let's get into the topic. So today we are going to take a look at the database uh, services. Amazon uh, offers a wide variety of uh, database services, uh, namely RDS, DynamoDB. They offer Elasticash. Uh, they have Redshift, DMS, uh, which stands for uh, Database uh, Migration Services. And then uh, we have the latest addition to the list, that is uh, Amazon Cloud Directory. So let's, you know, uh, take an introduction. I mean, let's uh, try to understand uh, briefly what uh, these are. So RDS, it stands for uh, Relational Database Services. And it does consist of many uh, database engines, uh, namely Oracle, Postgres, SQL, MySQL, and so on and uh, yeah uh, these are you know hosted on uh, cloud and uh, these are you know available for the customers to use managed relation database uh, services uh, from aws is nothing uh, but rds this is very essential uh, for the exam this is very essential if you are you know planning to work on aws platform and then we have uh, something called as DynamoDB. Uh, that's another managed NoSQL database in AWS. And uh, you know, it's a non-RDS. It's non-relational uh, database uh, service offering from Amazon. This is gaining popularity. And uh, maybe, you know, this is something to watch out for. So DynamoDB is uh, there. And then uh, moving on to the next item, we have Elasticache. That's another offering from AWS. Um, essentially, this is an in-memory cache to help uh, the DB. Uh, it'll you know, help to improve your database performance. So Amazon decided, okay, why don't we provide it as a, what do you call it, a dedicated service? And they came up with the idea of Elasticache. So uh, cache, uh, cache the data in cloud to improve DB performance and uh, to reduce DB load. Uh, that's what uh, Elasticache does. And then we have Redshift. Uh, this is a fast, simple, cost-effective data warehousing solution from AWS. You know, data warehousing. This, you know, data scientist and data science. It is, you know, gaining popularity. So yeah, uh, there it is. Uh, Amazon's own uh, data warehousing solution is uh, known as Redshift. Then we have DMS. It stands for Database Migration Services. This will help uh, migrating your databases to AWS easily and inexpensively with uh, zero downtime. Uh, you have wide variety of uh, options. You can, you know, uh, move to uh, all the available databases that are, you know, supported by uh, AWS. So yeah, um, we um, I I got an opportunity to work with uh, this particular offering DMS, and I know uh, to be frank with you guys, uh, this is you know really cool. So we'll you know talk about in a bit and uh, the final one the latest addition to the list is uh, Amazon Cloud Directory. So this is to you know uh, this will uh, uh, build flexible cloud uh, native directories for organizing hierarchies of data along multiple dimensions. So um, you know this is kind of you know still in preview so we are you know yet to uh, explore more on on this particular thing. So yeah definitely that's something to watch out for. Now let's uh, take a look at uh, RDS. RDS stands for Relational Database Service. And what is this Relational Database, guys? Uh, it's a collection of data items uh, with predefined uh, relationships between them. You know, uh, if you are you know confused, uh, anything the you know conventional databases are known as uh, RDS, Relational Database Service. Uh, you know, data items are organized uh, as a set uh, a set of you know tables and columns. Uh, and rows, you know, you have uh, uh, a typical database uh, uh, and uh, you will be having uh, a table which consists of, you know, columns and rows. Uh, data will be, you know, arranged into columns and rows. So each row in the table represents a collection of related values uh, of uh, one object or an entity. Uh, tables are used to hold the information about the objects to be represented in a, a database. Each column in a table holds a certain kind of data and a field uh, stores the actual value of an attribute. The row in each table could be identified with a unique key identifying and row among multiple tables can be made related using foreign keys. This data can be you know accessed in many different ways without uh, reorganizing the database tables themselves. So you know as I was saying this is the conventional database uh, the one which we, we have been using from uh, a uh, uh, long long time uh, you have a table uh, it consists of you know as you said 
rows and columns uh, data will be arranged into that you have the concepts of uh, you know uh, foreign key uh, primary key uh, secondary key and uh, things like that so those are you know um, uh, those are covered under rds so i just wanted to give you an overview on that and then uh, these are the relational database engines uh, that are supported by uh, amazon uh, so uh, on amazon you have six different uh, rds offerings um, the very first one it is amazon aurora then we have oracle uh, we have uh, support for microsoft sql server we can have uh, mysql hosted in aws if if you are you know interested you can even have postgres sql and uh, maria db also so these are the you know six uh, database engines that is supported by uh, amazon so let's take a look at uh, amazon aurora so amazon aurora is a My mysql compatible relational database engine that combines the speed and availability of high end commercial database with uh, uh, the simplicity and cost effective of uh, open source databases amazon aurora provides up to five times better performance than mysql with the security availability and uh, reliability of a commercial database at one tenth of the cost so you know uh, uh, let me give you a real time uh, scenario we were i mean most of our applications we were using uh, mysql uh, you know there are you know many applications using mysql as a database so when um, uh, you know amazon came in uh, we thought okay why don't we uh, uh, understand amazon aurora so there was a you know uh, proof of concept done on aurora and we actually you know were amazed uh, the results were you know awesome the performance was you know improved so we we were you know using dms to manage uh, uh, the migration we have actually migrated from uh, our you know uh, standalone mysql database to uh, the cloud based amazon aurora that's that and uh, you know next thing is oracle db um, yeah amazon does support uh, oracle db amazon rds allows you to deploy multiple editions of uh, oracle database in minutes with cost efficient and uh, resizable hardware capacity you can uh, bring existing oracle license or uh, pay for license usage by the hour uh, that's the beauty of it uh, if you are you know having a, a valid license oracle license yeah you can you know uh, use it on the cloud uh, on the you know aws platform RDS frees uh, you up to focus on application development by managing complex database administration tasks, including provisioning, backup, patching, monitoring, and hardware scaling. So, uh, you know, database offering, right? You don't need to worry about anything. All you need to, you know, concentrate is on uh, developing the database. Uh, you know, uh, rest of the things are uh, the typical day-to-day -day DBA activities, uh, database administration activities. It will be taken care by Amazon. You know, best example is you know backups, patching, monitoring, and hardware uh, scaling. And moving on to the next item, uh, yes, Amazon does support uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Uh, uh, Amazon RDS uh, for SQL Server makes it easy to set up, operate, scale SQL Server in the cloud. You can deploy multiple editions of SQL Server, including Express, Web, Standard, and Enterprise. If you ever work with you know Microsoft uh, SQL Server, you know what it is. Uh, they have got you know different flavors or a bunch of things uh, such as you know uh, express web uh, standard and enterprise since uh, amazon rds for uh, um, sql server provides you direct access to the native capabilities of sql server your application and tool should work without any uh, cha uh, changes so minimal changes i mean zero to very minimal changes and uh, you'll be you know up and running on the cloud if you wanted to you know use these services and uh, mysql uh, it's an open source uh, uh, relational database management system used by very large uh, number of uh, web based applications so uh, i was telling you this example right um, most of our application uh, the company related applications they were uh, using this mysql reason is simple uh, it is open source plus uh, you know uh, resources uh, who who has knowledge on mysql it was you know plenty uh, so we thought okay why don't we use mysql plus uh, all the you know uh, database designing and other cons uh, you know considerations we came to the conclusion we are going to use a uh, mysql so back then we were using mysql and now we are on uh, amazon aurora uh, amazon rds for mysql gives you access to the capabilities of a familiar mysql database uh, mysql database engine uh, this means that uh, the code application and uh, tools you already use today with your existing database can be used with amazon rds without any changes and then postgres sql uh, postgres sql is a powerful enterprise class open source object relational database system with an emphasis uh, 
on extensibility and standards compliance. PostgreSQL uh, boasts many sophisticated features and runs stored procedures in more than a dozen programming languages including Java, Perl, Python, uh, Ruby, uh, TCL, uh, C, uh, C, C++ and uh, its own PLSQL, uh, PostgreSQL which is you know similar to Oracle's PLSQL. So yeah, uh, because of the you know wide variety of uh, the support uh, they offer, uh, it, it it gained you know popularity and people are you know using it. If you wanted to you know use the same thing on cloud, yeah, uh, Amazon does you know provide the support. And then finally, MariaDB. Uh, MariaDB is a MySQL compatible database engine, which is uh, a fork of MySQL and is being uh, developed by the original developers of MySQL. So that's something to watch out. Uh, Amazon RDS makes it uh, easy to set up, operate and scale MariaDB deployments uh, in the cloud. With Amazon RDS, you can deploy scalable MariaDB databases in minutes with cost efficient and resizable hardware capacity. And then uh, we have something called as a non-relational database, right? Uh, uh, the best example from Amazon is uh, DynamoDB. So what is this non-relational database? We know what is a uh, RDS, I mean at least the basics of it. Um, we have a table and uh, it is consisting of uh, rows and columns. Data will be you know, put into it, uh, there will be unique uh, you know, key, primary key. We have you know something like, uh, um, what do you call, secondary keys, foreign keys. Uh, there will be you no know, relation between data sets and things like that. So. Now, coming back to the question, uh, what is a non-relational database? So this is something very new and uh, this has been, you know, uh, evolved as we speak. A non-relational database is any database that does not follow the relational model provided by traditional relational database management system. This category of databases, also referred to as a NoSQL database, has seen steady adoption growth in recent years with the rise of big data applications. So that's something to, you know, uh, remember. Big data applications, they they keep on, you know, using uh, uh, NoSQL databases. And that's how we, you know, call them non-relational database or, you know, NoSQL databases. So NoSQL and uh, not only SQL describe an approach to database design that implements a key value store, uh, document store, column store, or graph format for uh, data. So this is how the you know uh, data will be stored. Uh, they will be you know uh, following this key value store, uh, document store, or you know even column store, uh, uh, maybe you know graph format of data. It's an alternative to the structured query language uh, database uh, uh, prevalent beginning uh, in the 1980s. No SQL uh, uh, contrasts to databases that uh, adhere to SQL's relational methods where data are placed in tables and uh, data schemas are carefully designed before the database is built. NoSQL database especially target large set of you know distributed data. That's why it it, it you know qualifies as you know candidate for uh, big data applications. So DB uh, uh, basically it has a collection documents and key value pairs. And uh, NoSQL is a term used to de uh, describe high performance non-relational databases. No SQL uh, databases utilize a variety of data models including document, graph, key value and uh, columnar structure. Uh, no SQL uh, databases are widely recognized uh, for ease of development, scalable performance, uh, high availability and resilience. And uh, moving on to the uh, you know example, uh, we were talking about uh, no SQL uh, database. So the best uh, offering from Amazon on this criteria is uh, on this category is you know DynamoDB. Amazon DynamoDB is the fast and flexible NoSQL database service for all applications that need consistent single digit uh, millisecond latency at any scale. It is a fully managed cloud database and uh, supports both document and uh, key value store models. It is flexible data model and uh, reliable uh, performance makes it a great uh, fit for a mobile, web, gaming, ad tech, uh, um, internet of things and uh, many other applications. So yeah, um, I'm thinking to do a you know lab session. Uh, first let's cover the basics, uh, you know, briefly understand what is what and then maybe we can you know have a uh, lab session uh, wherein we will you know see uh, the benefits, uh, the features of you know uh, these offerings from AWS. But uh, trust me on this uh, guys, if you wanted to use NoSQL, DynamoDB is the best uh, uh, option from uh, Amazon. Uh, this is you know something on the go itself, you can you know scale up 
uh, you have you know so many options uh, yeah that's something which we'll you know see let me know i've been you know lately getting many questions i'm trying my best to answer most of them uh, if you you know uh, find any delay or something just just you know remind me i'll i'll try to answer them thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one